Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box for Windows download and install tutorial. In this video, we will be going over downloading and installing a pro package for Windows from the PG Music website. Once you have completed your purchase, you will receive an email with a link that will bring you to this page you see now. This is the page that we will download our Band in a Box software and all the content that goes along with it. Along the top of the page, we see our download URL and our activation serial number. Below that, it states which package we are going to be downloading, which in this case would be the Band in a Box Pro 2021 for Windows. Then we have links here for setup help, online program manuals, and some helpful video links as well. And below that, we have our list of downloads for the Band in a Box Pro package. We can see the total size for all the downloads is about 22 gigabytes. Keep in mind, this is the size of the downloaded install files only, not the Band in a Box installation. The installation will use another 22 gigabytes. But if you would like to save some space on your hard drive, once the installation is complete, you can delete the installer files or move them to another hard drive if you'd like. The first file at the top of the list is the Band in a Box and Real Band 2021 Pro for Windows. This is the main Band in a Box program installation file. You should download and install this file first. This includes Band in a Box, Real Band, the DAW plugin, VST plugins, and music notation fonts. So I will click the blue download link on the right, and this should start our download. If your download does not start automatically, you can right click on the blue text and select save link as. This will open a save dialog where you can manually choose a location to download and save the installer files to. The next file in the list is the HiQ instruments for Sforzando. This installs the HiQ instruments, which is a set of high quality MIDI sounds used by Band in a Box via the Sforzando plugin. So I'll just click download. We also have the Realtrack's held chord and loop set too. This includes held chords and loops files for Realtracks. So I'll download that as well. I have already downloaded all the remaining files in the list to my downloads folder, but you can continue to download the files. Note, if you plan to install the Realtracks content using the download manager from within Band in a Box, you do not have to download any more files from this page. You can go ahead and start your installation. If you wish to install the Realtracks content manually with the master Realtracks content installer, or individually, you will need to download the master Realtracks content installer as well as Pro Realtracks 1 through 10. Once the download process has completed, we can get started with the installation. You can see in my downloads, I have already downloaded all the files that were available to me in my downloads page. Ideally, you will want to install the files in the same order they were listed on the downloads page. So first, we want to run the main Band in a Box software installer. We will double click the Band in a Box Real Band 2021 Pro installer and follow the prompts. On the first screen, we can just press next. Then we will accept the license agreement and press next. Next we have some general information. You can read that over if you like and press next again. Now we are going to choose our destination locations that we would like to install our software and content to. The default location will be the C drive, but you can choose to install on an alternate drive if you like. Today, I will be installing on the D drive. The D drive is my secondary internal drive. You can use an internal drive or an external hard drive. The drive will have a designated letter between D and Z, which you can specify in these four boxes. As you can see, I have changed mine from C to D. You can also change the install location by pressing the browse button and then manually navigating to and choosing the install location. Once your destination locations are set, you can press next again. The next page allows you to choose exactly which components you would like to install and how much space it will take to install the selected components. I'll press next again. 
Here we can choose if we want to create desktop icons for Band in a Box and Real Band, and if we would like to associate song and style files with the Band in a Box software. This will make sure that files with extensions like .sgu, .mgu, or other Band in a Box files will open Band in a Box when double clicked. I will leave all of these checked and press next. Now you can just double check your locations are correct and press install. This will take a while, so we will skip ahead. Now we have come to the part where we will install the Band in a Box DAW plugin, so we can press next to proceed. We can select exactly which of the DAW plugin files we want to install. Most DAWs will support the VST3 file, but there is also options for VST2 as well as AAX for Pro Tools users. The plugin files will not take up much space at all, so it's okay to select all the files in case you use several DAWs. When you are ready, press next. Now we set our destination locations. Your Band in a Box folder should match what you set it to earlier in the installation. The DAW plugin, however, should be installed to the C drive as this is where most DAWs will look for the file. The default locations for these will usually work just fine, so we will press next again. Again, this will take a few moments, so we will skip ahead. And now we can press finish. The first thing we will do before we install anything else is open up the software and activate it. So let's open up Band in a Box now. You will then be prompted with a message that Band in a Box is not fully functional until it has been activated. So we can go to the help menu and select activate from the bottom of the list. And now we can see the activation dialog. If your computer is connected to the internet, you can select Activate Online. Now just enter your serial number that was listed on your downloads page. And press Activate Now. Then you should be good to go. If your computer is not connected to the internet, then you will need to select Activate Offline. To complete an offline activation, you will need to contact PG Music and provide us both your serial number and the request number displayed here. You can call one of our phone lines listed above, email us at sales at pgmusic.com, or log into our live chat service at www.pgmusic.com. Once we have received your serial number and request number, we will provide you an activation code. Then you just enter your serial number and activation code, press activate now, and you are good to go. Note. Once you have activated Band in a Box, this also activates Real Band and the Band in a Box DAW plugin. No further activation is needed. Okay, so now we have the software both activated and installed. Let's go back to our download list and see what we should install next. Next in the list is the HiQ Instruments Force for Zando. And it says, this installs the HiQ Instruments, which is a set of high quality MIDI sounds used by Band in a Box via the Sforzando Synth plugin. So now, I'll go back to my Downloads folder, since I've already downloaded all the files earlier, and I'll double-click the HiQ Instruments installer. Accept the license agreement. Press Next through the info pages. Leave the default install location. And press Install. I'll skip ahead. And now I'll press Finish. Now that that is finished, we can go back to our downloads list. The next file in our list is the Realtracks Held Chords and Loop Set 2 file, which we already downloaded earlier. If you are using the Master Realtracks Content Installer, then this file will be installed by the Master Realtracks Content Installer automatically. However, if you are going to be installing the Realtracks content from the Download Manager within Band in a Box, this file needs to be installed manually, as the Download Manager only installs the files listed below the bold text here. So for now, we can move on to the Master Realtracks Content Installer. And you can see it says, to use the Realtracks Master Installer, first download the Realtracks files below. This refers to every file listed below the bold text seen here that are labeled Pro Realtracks 1 through 10. These files can alternatively be downloaded and installed via the Download Manager, which we will go over a little later in the video as well. But when using the Master Realtracks installer, 
you need to download each of the Realtracks files listed here. I have already downloaded all the files, so I will just go back to my downloads folder. Now you can see in my downloads folder, I have all the Realtracks files that are listed on the downloads page as well as the master Realtracks installer file. So what we want to do is run the master Realtracks installer and it will install all of the other Realtracks installers that are located in the same folder. Note, the individual Realtracks installers can be run individually if you prefer to do so, or if you only need to install one of the files for any reason. So since I have the Realtracks Loops 2 and the Realtracks Pro 1 through 10 installers in the same folder as the master Realtracks installer, I can just run the master Realtracks installer to install every other file. So I will double click the master Realtracks installer. I'll press next, accept the agreement and press next again. The next screen goes over what the master Realtracks installer does and which files it will be installing. So you can press next. Make sure your destination locations match the locations we set earlier when we installed the Band in the Box software and press next. You may see a screen that lets you know how much space is left on the installation drive and how much space this installation will take up. You can now press install. The master installer will now go through the process of installing all 11 Realtracks install files. This will take some time, so I will skip forward in the video. From time to time, you will see the master installer finish one installation and move on to the next one. And when all the installations have completed, you can press finish. And now your installation is complete. So let's open Band in a Box back up. You will be prompted to rebuild your style list. We definitely want to do this. Your style list should be rebuilt after any installations or updates to Band in a Box. So we will press yes. And this will automatically open up our style picker. And we can press yes to start the rebuild. We can watch the progress of our rebuild here in the top left in green text. And now our rebuild is complete. Note, you can rebuild your style list at any time by opening the style picker and pressing the rebuild button then selecting fast rebuild. Earlier I mentioned using the download manager within Band in a Box to install the Realtracks content. This can be done without manually downloading the Realtracks files from the website as stated earlier. However, there is one more file we need to run manually before running the download manager. As stated earlier in the video, the download manager will only install the files listed below the bold text seen here. But earlier, we didn't install the held chords and loop set 2 file as it does get installed with the master Realtracks installer. But since we are going to be using the download manager now, we have to manually install the held chords and loop set 2 file. So I'll double click the file and follow the prompts. First, we can accept the license agreement and press next. We have some info on what will be installed and we can press next. Press next on the second info page. Make sure our installed destinations match what we set them to in our previous installations. Press next and press install. I'll skip ahead in the video and we can press finish. So now we are ready to run the download manager and install the remaining Realtracks files. So let's open up Band in a Box. The download manager can be found under Utilities in the Help menu. Just select Run Download slash Install Manager now. You will be asked to create a temporary folder that the download manager will use to download the Realtracks content installers. I will just leave mine as the default and press OK. It now says this folder does not exist. Would we like to create it? I'll press Yes. And now we can see our list of Realtracks downloads here in the download manager. This list matches what was listed on our downloads page we were looking at earlier. Along the bottom, we have some options to open or change the download folder. Here, we can set the number of files that will be downloaded at the same time. Keep in mind, the more files you are downloading at the same time, the longer it may take. So you might want to leave this at only one or two if you do not have a fast internet connection. We can also change our install locations for the downloaded files. We can also toggle whether or not to automatically install the files once the downloads have completed. So I'll just press the play button to download and install the selected files. 
and now we can see progress being made on the first four downloads since we chose to download four files at a time. Note, there is a help button at the top right of the download manager that will bring you to our written download manager tutorial. So now we can just let the download manager do its thing and skip ahead in the video. Once all the files have been downloaded, we will install the files. If Band in a Box is still open, you will be prompted to close the program while installing the content. And like before, we can see the progress being made in the download manager. So now we'll just skip ahead in the video a bit. Once the download manager has completed the process, we can close the manager, open Band in the Box back up, and rebuild our style list. We hope you found this video helpful. For more resources, head to our website, where you will find our support page packed with videos and tutorials. You can also speak directly to a real customer service representative or our support team by logging into our live chat service. The hours of operation can be found here at the top of our website. You can also visit our forums for helpful tips and to connect with other software users. Don't forget to check out our user showcase forum to hear what other users are creating with Band in a Box. Have fun!